Hello friends, welcome to the Career Counseling Initiative by Centum Academy. Today we are going to tell you about the different uh, admission criteria for Ashoka University. What are its fees? What are the salient and unique features of Ashoka University? So without any delay, let's begin. So Ashoka University was founded in the year 2014. It is located in Rajiv Gandhi Education City, which is in Sonipat, Haryana. When it was started, its flagship program called the Young India Fellowship was launched in the year 2011. In the Young India Fellowship, initially they, uh, they, they selected uh, 50 bright minds and gave them full scholarship to, to give them a flavor of what Ashoka education means. Uh, it, it is run in collaboration with University of Pennsylvania and Ashoka University's major focus is on the liberal arts approach and liberal arts basically covers all the core sciences, social sciences, as well as the humanities. So moving ahead, let's see uh, how, in how many acres Asoka University is uh, situated. Asoka University is spread over 25 acres. However, uh, the foundation stone for a new 27 acre campus was also laid in uh, September of 2021. The NIRF rank of Ashoka University is 95 among all the universities in India. And some of the notable faculties who teach at Ashoka University are Jonathan Gilharis, Pratap Bhan Mehta, Dwight Jagard, Kenwin Smith, Anune Chaube, and so on. Moving ahead, let's see what are the different centers of excellence that have been set up at Ashoka University. So we have this info is center for entrepreneurs. Then we have center for climate change and sustainability. Then we have center for social impact and philanthropy. Then we have Trivedi center for political data, center for economic data and analysis. There's a center for studies in gender and sexuality. And then we have the center for the creative and the critical. And there are many other centers which are you can say uh, centers of excellence at Ashoka University and they are doing research. Though Ashoka University is a new university, so these centers are growing rapidly. Uh, the different programs offered by Ashoka University uh, could be the undergraduate programs, the Young India Fellowship. So Young India Fellowship is for those who have already graduated. Then we have the graduate programs or you can call the master's programs. Then we have the PhD programs, there is a young scholars programs, and then we have global education and office of summer programs. So let us see about some of these programs. So in the undergraduate programs, there are different courses offered by Ashoka University. You can see uh, there are courses offered in biology, chemistry, creative writing, economics, English, entrepreneurship, environmental studies, history, international relations, mathematics, media studies, performing arts, philosophy, physics, political science, psychology, Sanskrit studies, sociology and anthropology, visual arts. So you can see that uh, all these are, you can say, are, are part of liberal arts uh, approach that we have courses from sociology and anthropology to economics, to entrepreneurship, to biology and chemistry, pure sciences, then we have performing arts and media studies also. So it's a very broad, you can say, uh, course uh, curriculum offered by Ashoka University. Moving ahead, let's see what's unique about Ashoka University that uh, it also gives you a flavor of interdisciplinary majors because nowadays uh, you can say any project or any research work requires interdisciplinary engagement. So Ashoka University offers you, uh, for example, computer science, along with entrepreneurial uh, leadership. Then you have computer science and mathematics, economics and finance, economics and history. So isn't it wonderful that you can pursue economics and history simultaneously? Similarly, we have history and international relations, politics, philosophy and economics, politics and society, English and creative writing. So in a way, Ashoka University is merging two different fields and offering it to its students. Now there's an option to choose minor courses also at uh, Shuka University that apart from the major subjects, you can also take uh, some minor courses. For example, there are minor courses available in 
entrepreneurial leadership, environmental science, international relations, media studies, visual arts, performing arts, and creative writing. Moving ahead, we can see that Ashoka University has a unique Young Scholars Program. So what is Young Scholars Program? It's a unique pre-college program. Uh, it is for talented high school students who are in class 9 to 12, like, like 9, 10th, 11th, and 12th. And it's a certified five-day five, five online program. So it's just a five-day program and you'll get a certificate after the completion of this program. So there are 10 different disciplines uh, that the students get to explore. And the point is that to give an introduction to the pedagogy of liberal arts and scientists, sciences to these uh, students who are still in high school. However, the program fee for this year, for the year 2022 is 25,000 rupees. Uh, it's a five day program and 25,000 rupees is a program fee. The application fee is 500 rupees. And the Young Scholars five day program for this year is scheduled between 16 May to 20 May. So moving ahead, let's see the different features of Young India Fellowship. So Young India Fellowship well, basically was, you can say, the flagship initiative of Ashoka University, delivered in collaboration with the University of Pennsylvania. And initially started with 50 students, then it went to 100, and then it increased with time. Now they have again, uh, they are again selecting 100 fellows. So 100 bright fellows will be selected uh, at the Young India Fellowship uh, at Ashoka University. So it is a eight. It has eight terms of six weeks each. So there are eight terms of six weeks because it's a one year program and there are about 20 multidisciplinary courses. 100 fellows are se uh, selected. There's a very unique uh, critical writing program at Ashoka University. Uh, then there is an ELM called Experiential Learning Module there where you can get to intern with uh, or work on some projects with uh, many of the private companies or NGOs or some uh, different organizations, even with the government. Ashoka University has a mentorship program where these fellows will be mentored and they have a very focused residential experience. Um, uh, world quality facilities are available there. So many of these young India fellows have uh, gone to, you can say they are, they are in different fields, right from law to commerce, to arts, to engineering, to entrepreneurship. So that, uh, there could be infinite poss possibilities uh, after the fellowship also. So moving ahead, let's discuss about the master's program or the graduate programs at Ashoka University. So we have master's of arts in economics, master of arts in liberal studies, master's program in English, uh, MSc, master of science program in biology. Now all those, uh, all the undergraduates who are graduating with bachelor's degree at the end of their third year, or who have completed by that time at least uh, 92 credits uh, in their degree program. So they are also eligible for a program called Postgraduate Diploma in Advanced Studies and Research Program. So this is known as the Ashoka Scholars Program, the Postgraduate Diploma in Advanced Studies and Research Program. So after your third year or if you have achieved 92 credits, you can also offer uh, this Ashoka Scholars Program. Now, what are the PhD programs available at Ashoka University? So Ashoka University is also focusing on research. However, uh, it's a new university. So uh, of course, its research will be comparable with, uh, let's say, top-notch uh, institutes in India. Let's say Indian institutions, Indian institutes of science or IITs. Uh, it will take time, of course. But uh, the PhD programs have begun and it offers PhD programs in biology, chemistry, computer science, economics, English, history, physics, psychology, sociology, and anthropology. Moving forward, uh, how a student can get admitted to Ashoka University, especially in their undergraduate programs. So there's this SAT exam, everybody, uh, it's, it's a very common exam. So many of you may know about this exam. So Ashoka University accepts SAT scores. And uh, since uh, SAT, SAT is an admission test for American universities, so for international students, for, for example, a student from India who's giving SAT, SAT is offered four times a year. And SAT is a three-hour exam, and it has two sections. 
The first section is about evidence-based reading and writing, and the second section is on mathematics. And the mathematics text test is both calculator as well as non-calculator based. Uh, there is no negative marking in the SAT exam, and I think uh, the highest score possible in the SAT uh, exam is sixteen hundred. Apart from the SAT exam, there is uh, another exam which is also for uh, which is called ACT or American College Testing Exam. Uh, Ashoka University also accept ACT scores. Now, American College Testing is a standardized test. It is used for college admissions in the US. And this test covers questions in English, mathematics, reading, and scientific reasoning. However, Ashoka University also conducts its own admission test, uh, which is known as the AAT or Ashoka Aptitude Test. So let's see what, what are the different features of Ashoka Aptitude Test Exam. So Ashoka Aptitude Test is a 90 minutes duration test. And there are about a total of 50 multiple choice questions and that consists of 25 problem solving questions and 25 critical thinking questions. So the focus is on critical thinking and problem solving. There are four rounds of this test in a year. Apart from the Ashoka Aptitude Test, there's also on the spot essay writing. Uh, for that, uh, the student is given about half an hour. And those who have already given the SAT or the ACT exam, they can also give this uh, AAT exam. It's recommended that they also give this Ashoka aptitude test exam. And uh, the higher of the scores will be considered. So you, between your SAT, ACT, and Ashoka aptitude test exam, in which uh, whichever you got the highest marks that will be considered for uh, admission. So moving ahead, let's see what are the undergraduate fees. So Ashoka University, you can say it's a costly university. Uh, the first year fee, tuition fee is 8,67,000. In the second year, it could be 9,10,000. In the third year, 9,55,000. By the fourth year, the tuition fee alone is 10 lakhs. And then you have uh, you know, some residence fees. So, so you can say uh, cumulative, you can say that around 44 lakhs uh, one has to shell out to pursue undergraduate programs at Ashoka University. Now, if you compare it with, uh, let's say, uh, fees with Delhi University, of course, uh, Delhi University fees are uh, low compared to Ashoka University. However, uh, Ashoka University um, may give you some worldwide, uh, you can say some global exposure. They have collaborations with different universities. And, uh, and of course, there are certain need-based uh, scholarships that are also given, provided. So anybody who's not able to, let's say, um, pay these fee, um, then they're also given scholarships. So the financial aid draft, provided by the university, it aims to bridge the gap between the cost of the program and your ability to pay. So if, you're, if, if you can pay 44 lakhs comfortably, that's okay. Uh, if you have, if you are facing difficulty in, uh, in paying this 44 lakhs fee, then you have to apply for these need-based scholarships and based on your background, uh, they will give you the required assistance. There's also a College Board India Scholars Program, which is in partnership with Ashoka University. So those who have scored more than 1300 in the SAT exam, uh, they are basically recognized as top performers. And these top performers, uh, who's the, if their family income is less than 8 lakhs per annum, so they receive a full tuition fee scholarships. And you know, tuition fee is the main component of uh, Ashoka, you can say Ashoka, undergraduate program. So you will be uh, given uh, full tuition scholarship to pursue undergraduate program at Ashoka University. But for that, you have to score more than 1300 in the SAT exam. And also your family income should be less than 8 lakhs per annum. Moving ahead, uh, one can, though there are very many, so many videos available on the YouTube, one can go watch those videos and see what is the campus like and go visit the university also. It's in Sonipat. And you can also visit this URL uh, where you can get a virtual tour of the campus. It's uh, iview.com slash Ashoka University. You can go to this link. 
to have a virtual tour of these uh, SOPA University. Moving ahead, uh, let's see what are the different clubs and societies run by the students at Ashoka University. So there's this edict, it's, uh, it's Ashoka's student newspaper. Then we have this ABC, Ashoka's uh, Broadway club. Then we have this Slam Poetry Club. Abhinay is the dance club. Meri Dastan is the storytelling society. Kirdar is the theater society. The Big Bang Theory, entrepreneurial venture, um, and there is a film society. So like any happening campus, it has all, you can say, different clubs, uh, right from poetry to dance, to storytelling, to theater, to entrepreneurship, to film. So let's move ahead and see uh, this. Uh, there's uh, also one unique program, uh, you can say one unique platform provided by Ashoka University called Ashoka X. Now, what is Ashoka X? Ashoka X is an online learning pl platform where different online courses are offered. So we have Let's say there are so many massive open online courses like Udemy, Coursera. So on a similar, you can say, note Ashoka is also providing some online courses. Those who will complete these courses, they will be given certificates. The faculties are, you can say, very excellent at these uh, programs. However, of course, you have to, these programs will come at a cost. So you pay that and go through these online learning platform of Ashoka X to get certified. One benefit of uh, this, of uh, going through Ashoka X is that many of the students, uh, maybe they can't afford uh, high fees uh, at, at the campus of Ashoka, or many of them uh, maybe not access, uh, Ashoka is not accessible. For example, it's at Sony Perth. Many of them may not be at Sony Perth. So anybody, anyone, uh, the, uh, the benefit of online education is that you can get it anywhere, if, even if you are outside the country or so far away from Sonipat, you can go through those uh, these courses. So, so it's, uh, it's a very, you can say, uh, especially in, the, in this digital world, it's a welcome initiative by Ashoka University. Now let's see some of the notable alumni of Ashoka University. So Ashoka University, you can say it's a young university, so this uh, alumni are so very young. So let's see some of the alumni who have done well uh, while they are still young. So Jairaj Bhattacharya, he is the co-founder and CEO of Conway Genius, which is an tech company. Mm -hmm. Pritika Pandey is a writer. Uh, is a writer. She is the Commonwealth Short Story Prize winner. Tanuz Bhujwani is a co-author of a book called The Art of Bitfulness. Uh, he co-authored this book with uh, Nandan Nilekani, who is the co-founder of Infosys. Utkar Samitab uh, is the founder of Network Capital. Prabhat Kumar is the co-founder of MicroX Labs and Samarth. Natasha Jareen is the co-founder of Center for Applied Research and People's Engagement. Like, uh, likewise, there are so many alumni who are doing well uh, after passing out from Ashoka. So that, that's all guys. If you found it useful, please uh, comment and give your options. Thank you.